the knock-you-out world of boxing, not an old man's game. Athletes start hitting the ropes and taking jabs as young as age 10 in silver gloves matches. At 16, it's the legendary Golden Gloves, and that has given us champs like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and the real deal Holyfield. Well, the Golden Gloves now has one of its oldest champs ever. He's 33, and he didn't even try on the gloves until just two years ago. The guy on the right, not the left. The one on the left is much older. And wait till you hear what the one on the right does for a living. One, two. When Ingo Okafor isn't personal training, when he's not modeling or acting, he's boxing. Ingo is the 2008 New York Golden Gloves heavyweight champion. From the blue corner, Yoli Okafor. At 33 years and four months, one of the oldest to ever win the crown. It's supposed to be a young man's game, but a young man hasn't gone through the things that I've gone through. They haven't suffered. You can touch the knuckles. He says he didn't start boxing until two years ago, but learned fast. Every week, people would come in and see me spar, and they're like, wow, you know, you look totally different. And that's what he said. Good. There you go. Good. He agreed to teach me a thing or two, as long as I promised not to hurt him. There you go. <laughs> Born in the U.S. but raised in Nigeria, Ingo came back to the States to go to college and seek his fortune. And he's found success on camera. So why risk his mug and livelihood in such a brutal sport? I can't let fear of a black eye or damaged face prevent me from living my dream. Ingo aced his shot at glory on Madison Square Garden's center stage, impressing boxing experts. He's got a lot of tools, and, and he has the heart of a champion. <laughs> he might keep sparring with some real competition, but Ingo says he won't be turning pro. He wants his next title in a film. He went like the equivalent of 10 rounds with me. He's still standing. And so am I. With the heavyweight champ in New York, Rick Leventhal, Fox News.